I'm Monica Escobar. Um, I teach fifth grade language arts and history, and this is my first year here. I was terrified of them. I come from a school, I'm not sure if you could tell from earlier, where everything the kids did was very closely monitored. Um, we explicitly taught kids slant, like how to sit, how to hold your hands, right? And so you would never walk into a classroom where seats were not assigned and desks were not in a very particular order and place in the room. So the idea of having kids have this much ownership over their movement and their place in the room and their learning frightened me a little bit because I, I lose a lot of control when kids can choose how they learn. Um, I am a huge fan of it now, um, not only because it makes, um, it makes them more engaged, but I, I find that they're just, there's never a moment when the actual physical space gets in the way of learning the material. I'm not fighting a lot of the battles that I thought I would fight, like the constant up and down or the squeaking of the wheels or the rolling around and running into each other. We call them bumper desks, right? No bumper desks in the class. Um, I'm not fighting those battles because the kids understand like this is, this is a privilege, right? Not everybody has this. Um, it helps me learn and I'm gonna use it in a way that makes it so that other kids get to use it too after me. So it's been great. I really like how the desks allow you to sort of think outside the box with teaching. Um, especially, like, this classroom tent is really big, but I can imagine these being a huge asset in some of these other rooms in the school that are a little bit smaller, where it's super easy to create a larger space to have that lesson that involves more movement or, um, you know, stations or something like that. Um, so it, it just, not only does it engage kids, but it sort of frees you to do whatever it is that you need to do in your room um, when you can easily move everything around. Mm -hmm.